Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. In this video, we'll discuss about the core Java modifiers concept. I think we uploaded public modifier, private, protected, default is done, final is done, static modifier. Okay, the next modifier here, the small modifier, native modifier. So, how many modifiers already done? Tell me, uh, public is completed, uh, protected is completed, public uh, protected. So default is completed, default and private. Permission level, these four modifiers are, these four modifiers are already completed. Out of these four modifiers, what is the default modifier in Java? So default modifier in Java is default only, right? And we done the final modifier and we have the final classes, final methods, final variables and we done the static modifier, okay? Now in this video, we will focus on native modifier, okay, native modifier. The native modifier, it is applicable for only methods. In Java, we have only native methods here. In Java, we have the native methods only. There is no native variables, native constructors, native class and all. Native modifier is only for the methods. Only for the methods. Then sir, what do you mean native methods? See, if you take the sleep method, your favorite method, our, fa our favorite method. So, sleep method, sleep is native method here. Okay, sleep is what a native method. So no, good. Let me let me copy some methods here. To copy the methods, just open the command prompt. I want some thread class method. So to check the predefined support, we are using which command here? Java p command, right? Java p Java dot uh, lang dot. Uh, tell me Java dot lang dot. Java dot lang dot which class required? Thread class. So it's all the thread class methods here. Okay, thread class uh, methods just let me copy some methods so we have some methods stop method is there run method is there right these are called these are basic methods stop method and run method okay let me copy some native methods which one is the native methods here your favorite sleep method okay the sleep method is native method or not and yield also native method these are native methods okay what the difference here means see run method is a predefined method right it means the predefined method also contains some predefined implementations or not. User defined method contains user defined implementation here. Yeah? Predefined method contains some predefined implementation, right? Good. So run method, the predefined implementation, those predefined implementations written in Java code. Okay. This implementation written in which code here? Java code. Stop method is there. This method implementation is also present in what? Java code. Okay, Java code. What about the yield method here? Yeah? Yield is which method here? Native method. See here, run is a public method. Here. Public means anyone can access. Void means no written value. Run is a method name. What about stop here? Stop is a public. Public means anyone can access. Stop is a final method. We cannot override. Void written type, right? Void written type, right? That's it. Yield method here. This is public. Anyone can access. Static means you can call this method by using class name. Native means this method internal implementations present in non-java code okay this method internal implementations are present with which code are non-java code sleep also same thing sleep is also which method native method and static method and public method public means anyone can access static means access by using class name native means this method implementations present with what a non-java code okay so final what the conclusion here Whenever you are finding native methods means immediately you can think that method implementations are present with what a non-java code. Yes no? That method implementations are present with code non-java code. Come on here, while execution JVM architecture, execution engine is interacting with the native method libraries, right? Why JVM architecture, JVM is interacting with what native method libraries because these implementations are there in native non-java code, right? These implementations are present with which code? Non-Java code or not? So now you want to show me that point? Okay, so you can check the JVM architecture once. We have the core Java folders. Yeah, core Java folders. We have the core Java material. The material we have the JVM architecture, right? What I'm saying, native method implementations are present with what? Non-Java code, right? Mm? Native method implementations are present with the non-java code okay then go to the down yeah 
This is called JVM architecture. In the JVM architecture, you can check it here. Your execution engine, your execution engine is interact with the native method libraries or not? Because of your native methods, sir. See, your native method information is stored in the native method stacks actually. Okay, your native method stacks are there, right? Those native method information will be stored in which one here? Native method stacks are not. And while execution, the sleep method implementations are present with non-Java code, right? It means while execution of sleep method, my execution engine has to interact with that uh, native method libraries or not. So, no, yeah. that's it. So, the point is what finally, to represent method implementations are present with non-Java code, uh, use which modifier here, here, native modifier. Uh. So, the okay, that is a, what is the proof here? That those native methods will be stored in which one here? Yeah? Native method stacks. Uh, and while execution engine is interacting with what native method libraries okay to execute what that native methods right to execute the native methods or not that's all guys that's all about whatever native modifier in java okay this is only for the methods here native modifier is only for the methods clear so check all the modifiers here one by one so don't waste the time in front of the video here so i'm uploading course videos all videos in youtube just, uh, just be maintain one notebook here Mm, write the comment and uh, like the videos huh? so thank you guys thanks for watching and like the video and comment the video and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates thank you guys bye